I'm Katie Miranda, and I'm a junior undergraduate researcher in the School of Renewable Natural Resources at LSU. So today we went out to Sherburn Wildlife Management Area to tag some wood duck ducklings that had hatched this morning. So we approached the nest, we plugged the holes on that box to make sure that no one escaped, and then we took the ducklings out and then placed either a pit tag or a web tag on them to track their recruitment. So when we go to tag the ducklings, we try to go as quietly as we can up to that box. We'll open the door and check to see if any ducklings are hatched. If they're not all hatched, we'll see which eggs will be hatching soon, if any eggs are non-viable or will not end up hatching. And if we have a nice fluffy lively nest that um, we can tag, then we'll take them all out and we mark half of them with a pit tag that goes right under their skin. And then um, we'll mark half of those with web tag. Um, that goes in between the webbing of their foot. We take their mass and their tarsus measurements. We will also take a blood sample of each duckling and then we'll put them back in the nest, let them chill out for a couple minutes so they're not trying to scramble and escape. And then we'll unplug that box and let their mom come take care of them. As we approached this first box, we um, opened it up and realized that most of the ducklings had already hatched and they had left the nest and there was two that were left that had not jumped out yet. We we hope that since this is in an area that has a whole lot of duckling broods that they will um, hear another brood and jump out and survive. As soon as they're ready to leave that nest, then they jump out. If they're in a natural cavity, this may be 50 or 60 feet up in the air and they will jump out and hit the ground and they're perfectly okay. Nature made them that way and then they'll find their way to the nearest water body.